hey guys hello and welcome to the new video so in this particular video we will be discussing about the forms okay so let us discuss about the forms as we have already discussed about what is an attribute what is an element what are the different values of the attribute that we can give so uh, it is a good time to start with the HTML forms that what is an HTML form so let us open jsbin.com as useful to understand the HTML form so first of all we have already discussed that what is an element so form start with the form tag okay so something like this way so it means like now everything will be enclosed inside our form now inside the form suppose if we have a input tag so i will use the input tag and we will describe the type as text or something now the type text what does actually the type text means it means like whatever you will type it will display in the text format okay it means like it will be text the type of the input accepts the type text okay now what will happen uh, now you can define a default value for this using value attribute so we can say value is equals to tutorial okay so you can see that it have a prefilled value with tutorial right so you can define a default value using value keyword then we have placeholder placeholder is just to show you that what is the thing that basically it accepts it means like it is just like an informative thing like suppose if i write username so you can see that username has been written here and whatever we will type then you can see that there is no username there and again if you will remove it then you can see username is there so it is just as it just works as an informative field okay placeholder uh yeah and then we have mean length so the minimum length that it accepts okay so we have i think mean is the thing attribute so we can say mean is equals to 10 similarly it accepts the max so max is equals to 50 so it will accepts the minimum length of 10 and maximum length of 50 so mean and max is also there okay we will discuss more about the form attribute after discussing about the different uh, attributes that comes inside the form so first of all we discussed about the input input of type text then another type of input is like input type of password so only difference between input type text and input type password is like suppose if i say placeholder so placeholder we can say it as password okay so you can see that both have similar property then what is the difference basically the difference it it masked the entry that comes inside it like suppose if i write uh, test test user so you can see that i have written test test user but if i try to write same thing here you can see that it is displaying dot character uh, dot so basically it mask your input so other cannot visualize it or other cannot see that okay mm -hmm. then we have input type equals to email is also there okay input type email is there so i will use the placeholder as email okay so you can see that we have used the placeholder as email so what is the difference the difference it it expects a value to be of type email okay it expects a value of type to be email rather than uh, text now we all understand that what is the difference between an email and a basic text it means like there should be a at the rate there should be uh, some website attached with it it means like we say that shaurabh.satyam at the rate gmail.com 
or we say that sorum.satyam at the rate xyz.com so these all are valid email so these are it doesn't do a hard check basically it means like whether the email actually exists or not it only tastes that whether the given format is correct or not it means like it is actually an email or uh, it means like you cannot just pass user123 in the input type email that you can do in uh, username section okay so that is the another type of input then we have another type of input that is input type equals to search only thing that comes with it is that you can clear the search it means like input type search search i say placeholder as search now whatever you type you can clear it okay so you you saw that there is a cross by default icon that comes with input type search and you can click it to clear it okay then another type of input that is input type equals to radio button okay so input type equals to radio button it comes with the value so you can say value you can give any value for that radio button like suppose you can say mail out there and you can not use placeholder because you can see that the size is very small right so you cannot use the placeholder here you can just simply type outside as mail okay and uh, something like this mail and again you can copy everything out from here and you can go below and type female and then again you can use the input type as radio button okay and you can change the value to female so you have you can see that we have male and we have female right so <clears throat> then we have another type of input that is uh, input type equals to mm, say button so do we have yeah so we have input type button and uh, you can say the name that is uh, you have to give the value attribute here so the value attribute will be suppose i say login or something so you can see that a login button appeared out here right but what will happen that if we have a form then it should be submitted right so there is another type of input that is input type equals to submit so if we have input type equals to submit and then you can say value is equals to login submit okay so you can see that there is a login submit button that is present here so the difference between the, where did everyone go here mm, let me then again yeah so we have login submit button right so only difference is like suppose if we have on submit attribute with button okay we have on submit attribute with button so with suppose on submit i am writing something that it is not necessary for you to understand right now but we just want to see that what is basically a difference between a button and a input type submit okay so i have written on submit here and on submit i am calling a function called um, get well or anything so we have a function called get well now what i'll do i'll write a script here okay so here is my script tag and here is the close of script tag now what i will use i will use the function and i'll say get val and just simply i'll give an alert of hello world so we have on submit attribute i am just giving an alert of hello world on clicking it so let's see so you can see that on clicking on login nothing is happening right but on clicking on submit we can see that there is a alert that is popping up with hello world so this is only the difference between the 
button and a submit that's when you click on submit this on submit get fires and whatever logic that is written inside submit execute there are other attribute of form as well so we will be discussing about those attribute as well but let me complete the other sections right now so yeah so we have input type as radio uh, then we have a input type as checkbox as well so let me um, again we can use a checkbox to input type equals to say checkbox again it attributes it accepts a value so we have male and uh, then we have a female here so we can say input type equals to checkbox again and we can say the value equals to female or something so yeah so you can see that there is a checkbox right now and there is a radio button so radio button is circular and this is a square or something then another thing now these are the things that is required to create a input field within a form so these are basically inputs now we have another thing such as we can use label label is nothing but suppose that if we are using username right so username is there so suppose I name it as username here so you can say label for attribute here equals to username and you can just define the username here. so it means like it identifies that what this label is for okay so it is for the username okay uh, try replacing it from it okay not work okay so it is just for it means like letting you know that the particular label is for username and this is the input field for username similarly if we are using the password then we can use the label for password so we can say label for password okay and just simply we can give password here so we can see that this is a username this is a password okay so we have label we are using label then you have seen text area so you have seen somewhere around that you have text area as well to describe yourself right so let's say text area so this is basically for describing yourself and everything so and whatever you will write inside it so it will come inside okay if you think that there is a value attribute for text area so there is not okay so if you write anything inside it it won't appear because there is no attribute such as value that is present within the text area so yeah and you can use the name attribute with everyone so suppose text area you have name equals to uh, yeah so you have name equals to something say mm, name equals to description or something so you can give any name so you can add names to those uh, inputs right so we have text area here and then uh, we can put these things it means like suppose you thought that I will put input type submit outside of uh, the particular form and we will try to click it then you can see on clicking nothing is happening right now because it should be inside the form in order to work right and on submit to get fired so this is the reason why it means like when we are putting it outside it is not working right now okay so i hope uh, it means like this is very clear so you can see that there is appearing please include at the rate please include at the rate in email this 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 this, this. so suppose you enter this so you can see that this is not complete enter gmail.com or something so uh, yeah so now you are logging submit then it is submitting and saying that yeah it is hello world or something right so let's put um, yeah input type text and there is a max length property that we have already discussed about it so just see 
whether it is max or max length max length uh, input so we have max length instead of max i guess yeah we have hmm. so in a steed it means like we will have mean length and we will have max length so mean length and max length now if you are clicking on login and if you are clicking on submit you can see that there is a at the rate and uh, if you are typing something so it is telling please max length this text should be 10 character okay or more so it should be of 10 character it means like the mean length should be 10 minimum length would be 10 right now there is another thing such as if you see that when i am trying to hit login submit then uh, if i don't do not prefill anything and if we are hitting something so if suppose everything is blank and we are hitting then we can see that hello world is getting called right but we don't want that okay we want every condition to be fulfilled in order to call hello world right so just there is one thing suppose you want this to be required so you can use the required keyword or simply you can see required as well i guess so it will be required so you can see that please fill out this field because this is required so then it will add please please enter the text length to 10 character or more you are currently using three characters so it will give you the character count as well right so <clears throat> yeah so this is actually all about the uh, about the forms that we basically use in uh, html okay so this is how basically we use the html form so yeah so we have discussed about the form attribute type elements and html form attribute so form attribute have different things so we will be discussing about those things later because it will or it will just uh, uh, confuse you only so form method method will be equals to post or something and uh, it means like it it accepts method as well as there is an action property as well so when we are using the action property so suppose if we want to redirect it to somewhere it means like if you want to redirect it to some api that you have created so action is equals to home and, um, and then we have uh, another property like enc type that is equals to multi-part form data for sending the files and all okay multi-part form data or something so it is for sending the form so so we will be discussing about all these things when we will be working on when we will be developing the apis so let us discuss yeah so yeah so basically this is all about the html form now uh, it means like in the next video we will be discussing more on the html okay we will be discussing about other important stuffs about the html we will create a html form and then we will be jump we will jump to css and we will design the html form as well okay so we will start with the basics of css and then we will be discussing about uh, we will be designing our html form and all together my plan is to develop a full fledged very good website all together by learning html css javascript so using these three it means like html css javascript i will be developing a static website and uh, using the advanced concepts such as uh, react js and um, uh, react js and node js we will be we will make our website live actually so it means like we will give some what you say sold to our website so that's it actually for this particular video where we have discussed about the different input elements text area input type radio buttons so you can see that whatever input you take suppose i take the example of facebook.com okay so you can see that there are two inputs which is designed basically you have a button okay so that is basically submit button input type submit we have a form that is being designed you will say that 
this form doesn't look similar to this one so yeah of course it means like they have used css to design the particular form and uh, it means like we have a links we have some links so of course you can give some links out there it means like if user is not registered you can give something like this way link a h r e f is equals to some link so it will redirect to some link and uh, then you can say uh, let me tell this link as register okay and uh, say not registered registered yet question mark so it means like it gives a clear idea that okay this particular link will redirect to some registration page okay so that you have already created so yeah so that is actually it about how to create a html form and what are the different input elements that is present inside the html form so in the next video uh, we will be discussing about creating the designing the html form and it means that we will design the html form we will create the html form again and we will discuss about some other interesting facts about the html interesting topics about the html so subscribe to my video and for the updates so yeah that's it actually for this particular video thank you thank you so much guys thank you